Bautista set to uh, post another new personal best here. McKenzie's just gone up onto the front row of the grid alongside him in P3. And an important lap coming in from Nicolo Bullica. Uh, just in the background of that shot there, making his way through on the inside of Andrea Locatelli to start another lap. And uh, Bullica moving provisionally up onto the front row of the grid. He, though, has now been displaced by Vandermark and Pisani. Jonathan Ray makes his way into the pits. Yeah, Ray comes into the pits. Four and a half minutes left. Iker Lekawuna is out on the track. He came into the pits. He went back out again on a wet weather tyre. So we're just waiting for Top Rack still to come around for his next time. And uh, for Raz Gurioglu all, all the way down the order after uh, those yellow flags as well. So for Top Rack, we're waiting to get in a representative lap time. Just seeing as well, Alex Lowe's just leaving the pits as well. So that's a good effort from the Kawasaki crew. Uh, Petrucci's four tenths of a second up on Ray after three completed sectors here. Danilo Petrucci still chasing his first pole. P2 at the 2023 check round his previous best and an average eighth on the grid this season. He was fourth on the grid last time out in Aragon, third in Portimao and Cremona. So has been on fine form of late. Two front row starts in the last four rounds and looking for another here. He does go provisional pole. A 152.640, seven tenths of a second faster than Jonathan Ray. That's Xavi Vieque, who's beached himself in the gravel. But now it's over to top rack Raz Gatlioglu, making his way through the final sector. Doesn't yet have a lap time on the board. Only fit on the grid. Last time out in Aragon for him, his worst Super Bowl since Australia. Of course, practice crash in Manicourt ended his run of six consecutive front row starts and five of them pole positions. Can he challenge for pole here? He was the fastest man on Friday around the Estoril circuit. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu then. Where will he filter through? Alvaro Bautista at the moment sits in fifth position. That's where Raz Gatlioglu is tracking to move up onto the second row of the grid. How good was his final sector? Drive to the line now for the BMW man. The championship leader goes on to the front row. Crucial lap there for Raz Gatlioglu with three minutes remaining. He has been displaced by Bulliger behind him in that group, moving up into third position. Top two in the championship, dicing it out for a spot on the front row of the grid. Yeah, and uh, Bulliger's doing a good job in this session just to get faster and faster as he gets a little bit more confidence in these conditions but he knows he needs to put it up on the front row of the grid and a good effort there to put himself third fastest just for his teammate Alvaro Batista seventh on the grid right now as it stands that's where he qualified in Assen in similar conditions as well so for Alvaro Batista not actually the end of the world if he ends up there if we have dry racing this weekend but uh, he'll be looking for a little bit more of a step into these final few minutes Niccolò Bullica then uh, third position as things stand. Petrucci, Ray, Bullica, Raz Gatlioglu, Vandermark, Bassani as Raz Gatlioglu catches one of those puddles making his way through the second sector, third row of the grid for uh, Bautista, Yanone and Vierke as things stand. He's been called back to the pit lane now with two minutes to go. So that's effectively his session ended. That's Bautista in the gravel trap and uh, the Ducati of Alvaro Bautista currently in seventh position. That's turn six as well for Alvaro. That's where Vierge had his crash, but uh, for Bautista, that's going to be the end of his session as well. Wasn't really on course to improve his time as well at that halfway stage of the lap. But the key thing is, for a lot of riders, yellow flags are out on their penultimate lap now. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu has never qualified off the front row of the grid in three previous Estoril rounds. Currently sits in fourth position, chasing his second Estoril pole and his first since 2020. Three tenths of a second down after three sectors. Good thing for top rack was he was out on track just in front of Bautista, so won't be affected by the yellow flags. Making his way off the final turn then to try and beat the time of Danilo Petrucci. A one minute 52.640. Seven tenths of a second faster than anyone else has so far gone. One minute remaining in Super Pole. Raz Gatlioglu will get one more lap in after this one and he'll need it because he's a tenth of a second down on Petrucci in P2. So it's Petrucci who leads the way. Raz Gatlioglu second. Jonathan Ray is up after his first completed sector. Good news for Alex Lowe's. He's made his way back out onto track, heading through the third sector now on his flying lap. He will get uh, potentially one more in after this one, although uh, the time will run short in wet conditions here. Still keep an eye on Ray, but it's Alex Lowe's coming through the final sector who will get to the line ahead of him. And uh, Lowe's has been such a strong qualifier in the Superbike World Championship, third in the Super Pole Award and an average of P4 on the grid this season at the moment finds himself down in last position after his spill earlier on yeah and he'll have time for one more lap as well at the end of this session should move himself up onto the front three rows of the grid so good damage limitation and then try and just find that a little bit more in your final lap Lowe's hasn't been out of the top six in the last five rounds one of world SBK's best qualifiers pole sitter at the French round one of four front row starts he's managed this season so far where will Alex Lowe slot in with his first flying lap it's good enough for P8 solid first effort and now he can go bigger still with 
seven seconds remaining before the chequered flag falls. The rider with it all to lose right now is Alvaro Bautista because even the likes of Taz McKenzie down in 13th fastest really on course for a fast lap here at the halfway stage as Jonathan Ray comes around to finish his session. Four tenths of a second lost in the third sector so it's going to be tough for him to go with Petrucci here. Danilo Petrucci looking good for his first pole position in World SBK. Ray crosses the line, it's three tenths down on Petrucci's fastest time but only three tenths of a second now separating your top trio and it's over to top rack Raz Gatlioglu, the 2021 world champion on a weekend where he's bidding to become 2024 world champion. He's two thousandths of a second down after three completed sectors. Will he deny Petrucci his first pole position and will it be Raz Gatlioglu's first pole since our last visit to Portugal at Portimao? Raz Gatlioglu's done it by two tenths of a second. Petrucci though is halfway through another lap to try and recover that top spot over a quarter of a second up on top rack's time as he makes his way through sector three. Taz McKenzie just crossing the line for P7. New personal best for him. Third row of the grid alongside Bassani and Bautista. That's a good effort for McKenzie. He's just been displaced by Sam Lowe's. Alex Lowe's, meanwhile, bumped down into 11th position as we ride on board with Danilo Petrucci. Currently second place in the standings, but uh, almost four tenths of a second now up after three completed sectors. This yeah. is brilliant from Petrucci. Petrucci always so strong in the wet conditions, and uh, let's see if he's able to have that good run to the line. Last time around, though, top rack set the fastest time of all in that final sector so Petrucci though with four tenths of a second in hand might well be able to take that pole. Danilo Petrucci second at the 2023 Czech round in Most his previous best still chasing his first pole. Alex Lowe's exits the final turn looking to keep his run of uh, front two rows continuing here. Petrucci directly behind him on track. Lowe's crosses the line it's only the third row of the grid P9 damage limitation job. Danilo Petrucci crosses the line it's a new personal best but it's not enough and the lap time goes away from him in the final sector. Checkered flag seen then by uh, all of the front runners. Raz Gatlioglu takes pole. Danilo Petrucci second. Jonathan Ray completes the front row of the grid. Locatelli, Bulliger, Vandermark, Sam Lowe's, Taz McKenzie, and Alex Lowe's your top nine.